going back in time for less than a century, when the United Kingdom was still an empire and its car makers were not yet owned by the now former colonies, would bring us to the true golden age of British automaking. The era when the designs and engineering solutions associated with the Union Jack were universally praised and even worshipped. Today we would like to invite you on a journey through the ages by taking a look at the most iconic car models, best restoration projects and stunning continuations with the UK origins. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and turn on all the notifications to never miss a new episode. Enjoy the ride! Jaguar E-Type by Eagle E-Types Dedicating your entire company to the restoration of a single car model might sound like a risky business. Unless, as stated by Enzo Ferrari, this model is the most beautiful car ever made. The English Eagle built original Jaguar E-Types, but frees them from the downsides that a car developed more than five dozen years ago might have. Among the most recent commissions is the lightweight GT, originally developed for the 1963 in the amount of 12 units. Through extensive use of specialist lightweight materials like magnesium and canal and titanium, the recreation weighs just 2,242 pounds. 8,000 man-hours of work also yielded an increased displacement, 4.7-liter XK twin cam straight six that outputs 380 horsepower. The Roadster gets Allen's adjustable dampers, four-piston servo-assisted vented discs, and magnesium wheels. Aston Martin DB5 A Google search for the world's most famous car will definitely lead you to the 1964 model driven by none other than the original James Bond himself, who was played by the unforgettable Sir Sean Connery. 55 years after the release of this iconic movie, the elegant GT Coupe is making a comeback as a 25 units continuation series. The Aston Martin DB5 Goldfinger appeals to the nostalgia of grown-up and beyond well-off fans by featuring spy-inspired exterior and interior gadgets, which were developed in cooperation with the original Agent 007 filmmaker Ian Productions. In all other aspects, Aston Martin works attempted to stay true to the original. Hence, each reproduction takes 4,500 man-hours to complete. The new old DB5 is built on the mild steel chassis wearing aluminum body panels. Its 4-liter naturally aspirated inline 6-cylinder makes 290 horsepower and channels them to the rear via a 5-speed CF manual and a mechanical limited slip differential. Range Rover Classic Project SEA When it comes to restoring and upgrading old Land Rovers, ECD Automotive's expertise is unmatched in the segment. Typically, the company specializes in customizing first-generation Defenders, but occasionally some Range Rover classics also fall into their specialist hands. One of these is the recent Project SEE, based in the long wheelbase four-door model from the early 1980s. Fitted with a modern 6.2-liter V8 engine and a six-speed automatic gearbox, it exemplifies the ECD approach where contemporary performance is matched with the retro styling that almost looks factory authentic. The SUV is painted in absent green, has an all-black grille and rides on 18-inch wheels wrapped in all-terrain tires. Additionally, it gets enhanced by LED DRLs, performance braking system and reupholstered cabin with a digital infotainment and RRC decoded digital gauges. Rolls-Royce Phantom 5 by Lunas Built in 1961 and electrified in 2020, this is how Lunas describes its latest creation in a single sentence. The luxury four-door sedan that was often used by the queen, governors and celebrities of the time will get only 30 new owners, arriving with a fully restored original body and Lunas' proprietary electric drivetrain. The latter consists of a single electric motor delivering 375 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque and a huge 120 kilowatt-hour battery pack that allows the Phantom to cover up to 300 miles between charges. The company does not disclose further details about the powertrain, but promises both home and rapid charging. Under the classic skin, the electric Phantom 5 is all modern. 
It gets infotainment system with set navigation, climate control, and individual screens for the rear passengers. Suspension, braking, steering, and electronic systems are also brought to current standards. If you like what we're doing, make sure to smash the like button. Your feedback inspires us to produce even more informative content. Let's proceed. Ekuri Ekas LMC The original Jaguar XK120C, which stands for competition, became an immediate racing success when it came out in 1951 and won the Le Mans at the first try. Its fluid aerodynamic forms were a result of the unheard at the time wind tunnel testing. Plus, it became the first racing model to get revolutionary Dunlop disc brakes. Since 2021 marks the 70th anniversary of the model, there was an option of acquiring a continuation C-Type directly from Jaguar. But if you're willing to pay half the asking price, consider looking into a replica by Ecuri Akas. The Scottish national racing team associates its early victories with the C-Type, so they're releasing seven timeless LMCs. In the case of the newcomer, the original straight 6 XK engine gets larger 4.2-liter displacement, a new 5-speed manual transmission, and upgraded brake suspension setup to handle the newly found 300 horsepower. Mini Remastered Based on the design and dimensions of the original Mini, produced between 1959 and 2000, the city car is fully reimagined using modern engineering approaches and technology. As a result, it offers improved soundproofing, bright LED headlights, and rich cabin equipment. The vehicle was originally revealed in 2017, but currently it offers two special edition versions. Limited to 25 units each, the models differ in styling and powertrains. The Cafe Racer, inspired by the 1950s motorbike culture, uses a standard 1,225cc four-cylinder that delivers 30% more power than the original unit. The rally-styled Monte Carlo is painted red and white and is powered by a larger 1,330cc mill with 83 HP. Inside this Mini's boasts premium leather upholstery, air conditioning and advanced infotainment with a 7-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth and smartphone compatibility. Caterham Super 7 1600 The origins of Caterham cars are rooted deep in 1960s, when the company was a major dealer of the Lotus 7 and later on acquired the rights to manufacture the model under its own name, consequently turning it into one of the most recognizable sports cars of the 20th century. Till this day, the model is being refined in various modifications, the latest one being a mid-price Super 7 1600. Among the exterior peculiarities of the newcomer are flared fenders that run from underneath the windshield to the 14-inch mini light style wheels available in aluminum gold or body color finish. There are seven vintage-inspired color schemes and available larger chassis for extra cargo room. This model is powered by a 1.6-liter Ford Sigma with 135 horses on tap. It will get you to 60 and 5 seconds flat and tops off at 122 miles per hour. The interior is decorated with wood rent steering wheel, leather upholstery, and classic gauges. Land Rover Series 1 In 2016, Land Rover launched the all-new Reborn project dedicated to restoring early years Land Rovers and allowing new customers experience the brand's most iconic models in real life. The first unit to undergo a full rebuilding at the historic Solihull location is this 1950 Series 1 model with an extremely short 80-inch wheelbase. The vehicle spent most of its life as a farmer's machine, so it had to be dismantled, restored panel by panel, and fitted with a new fabric roof. The workshop approved five original period colors, but decided to paint this particular model in bronze green. Finally, the interior of the car had to be reappointed and the drivetrain rebuilt. As a result, the Series 1 is still powered by a 50 horsepower 1.6 liter engine with a 4 speed gearbox and a 4x4 system, all covered by 12 months 
or 12,000 miles manufacturer's warranty. Rolls-Royce Corniche This two-door luxury car was in production from 1971 to 1995, and initially it was offered in two body styles, coupe and convertible. The former was discontinued after 1981, totaling in only 1,090 units manufactured. Veloci Classic gives you a chance to own one of these unique cars. It was registered in 1976, which was the last year before a mild tree styling. The dealer sells this Corniche as it is, with no detailing and restoration. This one-owner automobile retains the original green paint and a very low mileage of under 16,000 miles. Besides, the interior with all leather upholstery, wood panels and dashboards come in almost nowhere condition. This two-door hides a 6.75-liter Rolls-Royce V8 engine that is mated to a three-speed automatic gearbox. It features an independent suspension with coil springs front and rear. Morgan Plus 4 On the market since 1910, the UK-based Morgan Motor is probably the only company from the Isles that till this day manufactures cars that look like they were designed 100 years ago. The 2021 Plus 4 represents a new version of the model that was produced intermittently since 1950. The newcomer sits on CX generation bonded aluminum architecture that still uses wood elements for framing the body shell. This Morgan also ditches the naturally aspirated mill from Ford, instead getting a 2.0-liter twin-power turbo inline 4 from BMW. When paired with an 8-speed automatic gearbox, it peaks at 258 horses and 295 pound-feet. But when a 6-speed manual is used, the torque is detuned to 258. The cabin of the Plus 4 is hand-trimmed with leathers and wood veneers. But the occupants can also enjoy optional heated seats with lumbar adjustment and discreet and car audio system with Bluetooth. Bentley Blower Continuation Series The original Bentley Blower was developed for the 24-hour of Le Mans race by one of the greatest drivers of the age, Sir Henry Tim Birkin. This year, the brand is attempting an ambitious continuation project that will see 12 exact replicas of the model. To make sure that the units are as authentic as possible, Bentley laser scanned the 1929 car and created special CED kit with 1,846 details. The prototype AK Car Zero was already handcrafted by Moliner engineers, who also recreated the 4.5-liter four-cylinder engine with Amherst Villiers Mark IV supercharger, using 1920s molds and tools, as well as contemporary tech. According to the company, the entire process for the prototype required 40,000 man-hours, but knowing Bentley, we can expect the same level of precision and craftsmanship for the actual customer models. Aston Martin DB4 GT Zagato This list won't be complete without one of the most expensive new cars produced in the recent years. The DB4 GT Zagato and its super-exclusive Centenary Edition were released as a part of the Aston Martin Continuation Series in 2019. 4,500 man-hours of meticulous work resulted in a 100% authentic hand-shaped aluminum body, a beefed-up 4.7-liter straight six with 400 horsepower, FIA-approved roll cage and leather trim tracing seats made from carbon fiber. Would you agree that British models deserve to carry titles of the most beautiful cars ever made? Did I miss some of the iconic models in this list? Let's discuss these matters in the comments section. Smash the like button like you mean it, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and proceed to exploring other legendary lineups from German and American car makers. The links are on the screen. May the torque be with you!